Bonjour! My name is Abomination, and welcome back to the Wessie Hill. This is week four. I guess what? I've lost three in a row. I absolutely have to win this time. Ah. This time is against Shelby. And a uh, Zygarde. <laughs> and a Shellos. Um, okay, no Bronzong, which means Aunt Jemima just pushes Psychic with its choice specs and hits everything. Matter of fact, nothing outspeeds Aunt Jemima. So I kind of want to lead with Aunt Jemima, but at the same time, I don't. Aline here is not water absorb, she is unaware for a Zygarde. Okay, I do kind of believe maybe they lead with- I'm kind of fearing an Azumarill lead here. If I'm being completely honest. Uh, Ninetales is a beast against me. Like, there's no question Ninetales is a beast against me. So, now, with that in mind, there is a weather war here, by the way. Obviously, I'm going to lead with Aline here. Because I can take a... Well, here's the thing, though. I, I can take a Grass-type move, but... I don't have Earthquake, I just have Liquidation and, and, and Toxic. Um, but, uh, yeah. That's what this is for. So I'm going to lead... Uh, Skarmory is not an answer to Zygarde. I just need to get Aunt Jemima in very often. It's my revenge killer pretty much every single time. It, like, gets in my face, being like Zygarde, then it's fine. Kurama is going to be Ninetales, so I had it right with the Ninetales read, lead, but I don't have Earthquake. That's the thingy here. That's the situation that's going down. I could easily go into Hip Out on here, and if I go Hip Out on, the Solar Beam is not an instant charge, right? So I think I'm going to go Hip Out on here. It's very easy to just go hip out on here. I'm going to go hip out on here. I have the Rindo Bear, but I don't have Earthquake, or else I would definitely push it in. But I do have Sandstorm to turn off the sunlight, so I can ignore this. They actually just go ahead and switch right away, and they go Leafy on. Like I said, I just turned off the sun, so this is fine by me. And if I turn off the sun, that means... Um, this thing cannot weather ball my Skarmory. Which is what I'm pretty sure its intentions are going to be, right? But I can just go into Banneret right now, and I got Whirlwind, I got Iron Defense, which is very powerful, right? Uh, it doesn't matter what they do to me. They Leaf Blade, which obviously does not touch me. They take their Rocky Helmet damage, and they take more Sandstorm damage, so that's great. Leafeon is not going to be the death of Skarmory. I could Body Press straight up, which I think is pretty safe. I'll Body Press straight up. Should do a lot of damage. I'm Max HP, Max Defense. They swap out Leafeon here. They go into Daddy, question mark, which is going to be Entei. If it's Eruption, then I've just ruined its Eruption with this body press. I do about a quarter and then plus sandstorm if you are not left over. So this thing's a beast uh, with like, you know, this is the beast. It could, it could be power herb solar beam. Um, I'm gonna go into Alien anyway. Like I said, window berry, so that's gonna be good. I know the window berry will be of use. It will be of use. There's flame charge. Flame charge is not gonna do anything. Uh, they're gonna take sandstorm. I'm not leftovers. Liquidation is pretty easily used here. Leafeon is the only thing that gets in my way. Shellos. Toxic is also very good here. I think I'm just gonna rather toxic. You know what? No, I'm gonna liquidation just in case they're power her solar beam. 
but they're not. Okay, so they swap. That's okay. Here comes a Zoomerail. Very fast pace so far. I should get my stealth rocks up, I think. Uh, obviously, liquidation does not do much to a Zoomerail at all, but it does take Sandstorm as well. A Zoomerail has a hard time against Banneret as well. Like, seriously, it, uh, I'm faster than this thing. I can roost. I have Iron Defense as well. This thing will not be the end of me. Go ahead, bring it on. See what you got. Grass Knot, okay. Good job, Skarmory. That also does nothing. And Rocky Helmet. Some reason Grass Knot is a contact move, so that's nice. I'll just go ahead and body press again. No reason not to. Right? Body press again. Why not? They swap out a Zoomerail. This is back into Nine Tails. Very, very fast pace right now. This should do good damage. This thing's not as bulky as, like, you know, it's less bulky than uh, stuff like Entei. So, Body Press does a lot of damage to that thing. I'll go back into Mr. Hans here. Everything is being really low. Everything is being worn down very well here for, like, Aunt Jemima to come in here and seriously cause some destruction. It definitely kills this thing at that range. They do make the double, so they predict my swap here. Are they going to Shellos this time? I don't know what Shellos is going to do. I don't. I'm, <laughs> like, I'm, I'm staring at it. I'm afraid of it already. Why am I afraid of this thing? I mean, what is it going to do to me? What could it possibly do to me? It's not a ground type. It's not, like, it's not immune to the sandstorm. So what is this thing going to do to me? What am I actually have to fear with the freaking Shellos in my face? Nothing. I'm gonna go into Aunt Jemima here. Because if it is annoying with status moves, it's the only thing I'm afraid of right now is status moves. So I can just magic bounce whatever this thing's got. Right? Scald is not magic bounceable. That doesn't do any damage to me, but it does burn me, so good thing I didn't go into a physical attacker, so... That's what the intention was when I went into freaking Espeon, so that's gonna be annoying. Burn damage. Annoying. But, I mean, I already checked. There's no reason not to push Psychic right now. They are gonna stay in. So I Psychic this thing. <laughs> That's a lot of good damage. They, oh my god! <laughs> Holy crap. Espeon goes down because of a uh, mirror coat on this thing. Very funny. Funny. Very funny. So I'm gonna go into Rogal then. That sucks. Losing Espeon really sucks. I'm very glad um, Halucha is not around here. What happens if I use Triple Axel right now? Uh, triple Axel, yeah. Poison. Poison Jab, I'll rather Poison Jab right now. They switch out Sashellos. Please go into Zoom Rail. This is, this is uh, Nine Tails. I'm fine if this thing gets taken out here too. This should hurt a lot. I did not use Triple Axel. This should hurt. A decent amount. Poison jabs is not a bad move. It's not enough to kill though, but Ice Shard will be. I think. I'm pretty sure Ice Shard is enough to kill. If it's not, then wow. It is enough to kill. So, Ninetales goes out. Uh, and Rogal's still in. That was very risky. I was very, very scared there. So, good. Shellos is almost dead. And, and the sun is about to be gone. So, okay, here comes uh, um, Entei again. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back and do Hippowdon. Because I am still afraid, like, this is, uh, in the sunlight, this thing's going to be pretty scary, right? So, 
I'm gonna go hip out on first. Hope they don't uh, sacred fire. I kind of hope they don't sacred fire here. Get rid of their sunlight, so Leafeon's not that good, and this thing is gonna flame charge me. That's fine. Now I'll go into Aline here. Do I? Or do I just friggin' Earthquake? By Earthquake, what's the switch in? Leafeon. But Leafeon's nothing, so I'll Earthquake. Uh, flame charging in. I'm curious why they just did that, but here comes an earthquake. This is definitely enough for this thing. Yeah, Entei's out. Shellos Miracote, that was that was rude. That was rude. I almost pushed Trick. I was tempted to push Trick. But I didn't think they were going to stay in. So here comes Azumarill. I'll go back into Skarmory. This doesn't matter to me. I'll go back into Skarmory. I don't even know if Zygarde has Grass Knot. But if it does, then it's good. Good on him. Her. Aqua Jet doesn't do anything. Rocky Helmet happens, and there's... Oh. That's a Citrus Berry. That leads me to believe that you're... Belly Drum? So if that's the case, I'm just going to Body Press. I'm not going to risk anything. Actually, now that I think about it. If I Iron Defense right now, I think it's game over. But I'll Body Press first. I'll Body Press first to get this thing out of... Danger zone range. Here go. Okay, so let's swap and they go into Zygarde. Okay. Or a break. Body press doesn't do much. But here's the thing Iron Defense will. I'm gonna Whirlwind first. They go for Thousand Arrows. Which hurts, like hell. And I fall straight down. I'm gonna go ahead and Whirlwind that Zygarde out of my face. And the Zoom World comes back in. And we'll take Sandstorm. And then I'm gonna Roost. And then I'm going to try to Iron Defense. I'm going to Roost. Okay, so here's Roost. There's Roost. There's Belly Drum. Okay, is this thing... Wait a minute, is this self-destruction? Is the Sandstorm over? No. Okay, so that's self-destruction. That was not... Wait, if that was on purpose... Then I'm curious. As to why. I think I'm still on the ground. I think I'm still grounded. Right? I need to send to my room. Still grounded. She just... Okay, yeah, she did not... She just said, did not think that through. <laughs> that was an accident, then. <laughs> okay, well, that... Okay. Here comes Le Leafeon. Now I'm gonna iron the fence. Leafeon, if it has Weather Ball, it'll be Sandstorm. Weather Ball for this turn. It's gonna Swords Dance in my face. That's not gonna matter. Because I just used Iron Defense, which is going to counter that. Right, Banneret? I think that's a right. I'll just go ahead and Iron Defense again. No real reason not to here, huh? They Swords Dance again. Um, this doesn't matter unless they have like instant kill. They have nothing for me. There's no way. Leafeon does not have an attack for for Banneret here. There's no chance. This is this this is this is fine. 
Sandstorm has subsided, so even if they did have Weather Ball, Sandstorm's gone. So now I can Whirlwind though, right? Like, like seriously, this thing's got some juicy attack. I should have actually just body pressed. No, I don't think it's a kill yet. They Swords Dance again, but that doesn't matter now. That's why I pushed Whirlwind. Look at that. So now get out of my face. You can't set up in front of me. Zygarde comes out. If they get a critical hit, then there's a problem. But right now I'm at plus four, so I'll just body press, and it'll do a lot of damage to this thing. There's thousand arrows. Am I still grounded? I was still grounded. I am still grounded. But that still doesn't hurt that much. So here's body press, Banneret. <laughs> And that is going to be enough to just wipe the Zygarde out. And because of that, Zygarde's out, there is no critical hit, I'm pretty sure that's just going to be game over right now with Banneret. Leafeon cannot touch me, Shellos is not going to be the thing. Shellos is not going to be the one. Either. Right? Just this Shellos and... Yeah. So, body press. They have knockoff. They're gonna take Rocky Helmet and they're gonna lose. I'm gonna lose my Rocky Helmet. But that won't matter. Body press should definitely put the Sleepion in the ground. Leafeon is in the ground. Woo! And now it's Shellos. I can feed this Shellos to whoever I want. It would be mean of me, though. I'm just gonna, like... Yep, I'll just give it to Banneret. Banneret deserves it. Banneret deserves it. So, body press. I'm faster than this thing, obviously. And there's no way Shellos is gone. And that's it. That is that. That is that. I'm gonna win that one. Look at that. 5-0 victory, absolutely did needed to win, because I've been sitting here, I was absolutely needed to win that, because that puts me at 1-3 now, that helps my differential, but it doesn't cure that 6-0 I got, right? Let's talk about these guys here. Mr. Woods, Drake Zolt was max attack adamant, a lot of... Max attack adamant with a lot of speed. Sand rush, obviously. We got Bolt Peak, Substitute, Outrage, and Earthquake. Jolteon was here. That's why Earthquake is here. And Zygarde. And Zygarde doesn't want to take uh, Outrage. That's why I have Substitute. So... <laughs> they just said, uh, Man, that did not go in my favor, but Shellos got a kill, so that's a win in my book. And that's true, Shellos. <sighs> Yeah, so Mr. Woods didn't see the field, but it wasn't a standard set, like standard is probably banded, but Mr. Woods had my leftovers. So yeah, there's that. Bolt Beacon, Outrage. Gruesome. Gruesome damage, gruesome stuff. Mr. Hans with the Smooth Rock. Sandstorm did a lot of chip damage and did not hurt me much, which is good. Almost pretty much max special defense with the rest. This is a little bit in speed, actually, and a little bit in defense, because they, they have some slower guys I would like to... Uh, be faster than Sandstream. We got Earthquake, Stealth Rock, Slack Off, and Toxic. I Earthquaked a Entei. Got rid of the Entei. I was expecting more Grass type moves, if I'm being honest. I don't know why. Every time I saw something, if it has a Grass type move, I thought it was going to guarantee have the Grass type move. I thought uh, Entei could be a uh, Power Herd Solar Beam thing. Nine Tails for sure, I thought would have Solar Beam. So, yeah, but anyway, there's Mr. Hans. And Jemima, the choice specs, they're on their entire team, they have no resistances to Psychic, except for Bronzong, which is obviously, it's a quarter resistance, but I had Shadow Ball, max special attack, and enough speed to outspeed everything on their team that's under the speed tier, so Halucha was faster than me, Magic Bounce was there, we had Psychic, Combine, Shadow Ball, Trick, very annoying, Shellos murdering me. Shellos. I knew I was afraid of it for a reason. I just didn't think of anything. I didn't know what Shellos was going to do to me. 
So, found out. Shellos obliterated Aunt Jemima in a gruesome mirror coat shot. Almost tricked it. Trick was for Bronzong, though. I didn't think Shellos was going to show up. I didn't really know why it would, but it did, and it did good. Got a kill, so that's, that's all you can ask for for Shellos, I think. Banneret, obviously the MVP here with Rocky Helmet, which actually works on Grass Knot for some reason. Don't know why. Max HP, max defense with the um, impish nature, actually, because I don't need my attack at all. But sturdy, we got Body Press, Whirlwind, Roost, Iron Defense. Clearly a perfect set for this situation, because Zygarde didn't get a chance to, or rather, Leafeon didn't get a chance to set up, and Zygarde couldn't hurt me after a couple of Iron Defenses, right? So, Banneret, good work, great work, right? Actually, like, fantastic work. Rogal with the Never Meld Ice. I forgot about Never Meld Ice. That definitely helped with the Ice Shard damage. We got almost max attack. It is max attack. It's just at level 50, um, 252, two, doesn't matter. And then uh, enough speed to outspeed all the speed to our things. So Halucha, outspeed Halucha. We got Pressure, Triple Axel, Ice Shard, Knock Off, Poison Jab. Poison Jab for Azumarill, because it's very annoying. Ice hits... A lot of this, all the stuff that resists ice is, are weak to dark, kind of, or vice versa. So Halucha, dark, but it's weak to ice, for example, right? And then uh, Bronzong resists ice, but it's weak to dark. So yeah, this stuff like that. So Rogal was pretty good here. So that's why I didn't want to be choice. So I was never melt ice. It's dead. Oh God, what's going on? Stop! Aline, Rindoberry, I'm waiting for the grass to move. Uh, did not suffer from anything. Max HP, almost max defense with a little bit of attack. And I think that's it. Maybe four in something else, like special events, maybe, or speed. Unaware, Zygarde cannot coil or dragon dance and win the game, right? So liquidation is good. I'd rather an earthquake because they have uh, Bronzong and um, Halucha. Not Halucha, Ice Punch also. It's Halucha. They have Bronzong, I guess. So I wanted to be able to hit it. So, and Liquidation, Ice Punch, Toxic Recover, pretty standard lean stuff to block a dragon. You know, this is like the standard, standard Quagsire to stop a dragon type from doing its stuff. So yeah, and that's gonna be it. Poison Mask was not in the game. And I'm finally gonna win one, huh? I'm gonna deselect these guys this time, because I always forget to. I finally win a game. YCL is apparently a heel of mine. I just can't seem to win around here, but I finally win one. So, uh, hopefully I can continue that in the next weeks, in the next, you know, for the rest of the season, because I pretty much need to win, I think. Uh, so that's one and three. got two more wins to go before I tie it up, My give my score. So, yeah, I'll, I'll see you for week five. I'm not sure who I'm facing yet, but you'll find out when I post it, right? So yeah, that's going to be it for me. Thanks for listening and watching. Smell you later.